Good afternoon, Bogus Sparks, and welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium Series 12 video, bring you a Dragon Knight team. Now, Dragon Knight, everyone's favorite dragon from Generation 1, going to be trying to use it here in Series 12 and Generation 8, uh, 25 years after its inception into the game. Let's see how it works. Now, this Dragon Knight is intended to be a Dragon Dance Dynamax Dragon Knight. So let's see how well it works. It does have things like White Herb, just in case they want to try to intimidate, spam you, and get rid of your Dragon Dance boost. And yeah, has cool things like Max Warm Wind, has Max Quake, has Max uh, Max Flying, Max Airstream. And then the rest of the team is kind of straightforward. Nothing too fancy here. Does have an Indeedy to help with your setup. Does have an, a, an Incineroar to be in Sinroar and also an AV Thunderous just in think just in case things go horribly wrong and you have to Dynamax something else. Also Dynamax option for Kyogre as well. This is like a complete life orb ogre, so there's not even a water spout in sight. Hey, we'll see how it goes. This team is by Mono Mallard on Twitter. We'll make sure to link their stuff down below in the description. Like always, I mean yeah. yeah. You gotta have some guts to make a Dragon Knight team, let me tell you. So, I mean, I guess you have to, you have, to have some guts to play it, too. So, let's see how this goes today. If you guys are excited to see Dragon Knight here on the channel, you know what to do. Hit the like button down below and subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already. And with that said, let's get on to today's battles. Oh, that's a Primarina. Okay. Primarina Sun Team. Oh, this is just a Sun Team with Zacian and Primarina on it. That's interesting. I like the fact they don't have a lot of speed control. I'll be honest, I kind of love that. I think I'm going to Dragonite and DD lead. I'm going to try to get going here with Dragonite. We'll see if it works. We'll see if, you know, we have that opportunity. And then we'll bring our restricted duo in the back, our two friends in the back. We should be able to deal with the rest of the team. If we can get Dragonite going, specifically if we can get Dragonite in a position to where we outspeed a Venusaur... Then we'll be in a pretty decent spot. The issue is this Dragonite is not max speed. It's actually very far away from max speed. Um, and I think Dragonite's speed in general to begin with is not very good. Rosa would be used more. Yeah, it's only 80 speed. It, all of its other stats are amazing. Like if it could just take 20 away from special attack and give it to speed, it would be an amazing Pokemon, I think. Which is probably why they won't do it, because they don't want to break the game. I mean, I say they don't want to break the game, and then they introduce Pokemon like Zacian and Calyrex in Generation 8. So, who knows? Maybe they don't care about the game. <laughs> Alright, Venusaur Instant is going to be their lead. This is okay, I think, for us. Because it kind of forces them to bring in... Mm, do I set up the D-Dance or do I just start airstreaming right away though? Because Venusaur is gonna start sleeping things, man. Venusaur is gonna start putting things to sleep. And my D-Knight's floating, so they could still fake out my Dragonite here. And they know that I'm not... Uh, inner focus because my wider popped so they know that I'm multi-scale yeah I, I think I just have to airstream and have to follow me here just so I just so I can deal with the Venusaur now rather than, rather than later now this could be focus sash Venu if it is we'll KO it next turn there is a little bit of an issue though and that issue is if they swap out the Ensign for their Weather and then put my Ndidi to sleep this turn, I might have to swap in my Ogre for that Ndidi spot and try to win the Weather War that way. Regardless, we're going to click the Dynamax button. This tells me that they are not Dynamaxing. But they are definitely going to break our multi-scale with a fake out, I'm, I can only assume. Yeah, no Dynamax. No fake out either. Here's just to follow me. All right. Is this like a parting shot thing? Sludge Bomb. That's fine. Their Cobra Barrier. That's also fine. I'm super okay with this. Look how much damage that still did. 
I'm liking where I am right now because this means I can click follow me again next turn if they don't, you know, of course, knock me out here. Flare Blitz, not even a dark move. I think I live this. We are very defensive and bold. Yeah, beautiful. Hey, Dragonite's in a spot here. In a pretty decent spot, too. I think I live another Sludge Bomb. Part of me just wants to airstream here and then just go for expanding. But I know the fear... How about this? I'll go for... There's, there's a fear of them swapping in a Groudon here. I'll just airstream into Venu again. And follow me again. I'm going to play this slower. Like, I was trying to get ahead of myself here by expanding force. And then going for the airstream onto the Ensign just so I can get some damage off an Ensign. There's no Groudon swaps. I don't know, man. I'm confused. Do they not bring Groudon? That's their Venusaur gone, so that means the Ogre I have in the back no longer has a threat on their team. Which is very good news for us. We now have a plus two on both of these mons as well as they go for the parting shot onto my Ndidi. Another reason why we had to follow me there though. So they get two fresh swaps and they also get the negative one on my Dragonite here. Because they could switch right back into Ensign. Mmm, Zacian, okay. In comes our big old friend Zacian. Right away, not wasting any time. I think a plus two outspeed Zacian? It should. I feel like that's what you'd calc for. And now this is probably back in Ensign, if I had to guess. Yeah, back in Ensign. They still can't fake us out, though, so that's fine. Um, do we have Helping Hand? We do! Okay, that's good news. That is good news. We still have multi-scale? We do as well. Okay, so... Tell you what. We... Wormwind, Ensign, which is our stab, and we Helping Hand here, I think. Because I think Zacian always protects... I mean, maybe not. They don't actually know that I have a ground or fire move. But I feel like Zacian should be a little bit cautious. Regardless, we'll get the negative one on the Zacian, which is fine. They don't protect. Okay, they're going all in here. There's a Wormwind. There's going to be negative one on both their mons. Which is sweet. That's our last turn of Dynamax as well. Who do they go for? Go for the play rough. We eat that up because of multi-scale. They just try to... They, they, they're they tired of my DD. <laughs> they're sick of it. Get it out of here. Hey, man. Respect. I get it. It's an annoying Pokemon. Uh, now we have Ogre and Zacian. I think we bring in Zacian here every day of the week. And we just kind of protect EQ. Would be a pretty safe option, I think. Should be enough to knock out the instant at that health. And get some damage going on Zacian. As long as I can get Zacian chipped, then I can Behemoth Blade it and knock it out. The Zacian v Zacian matchup is whoever gets chipped first loses, right? <laughs> so we just have to chip it. Doesn't matter how much we do, as long as we do something. Here's my Protect. No Protect on their side, which is amazing. So here's a nice big ol' EQ. Oh, there's Shaka. They're probably gonna live then. They definitely do. We do get a really big chip on uh, Zacian, though. Imper, We hate that. All right. Well, that kind of sucks. Followed by the parting shot on my... My D-Knight. Hmm. Honestly, very bad. Because now we can't Behemoth Blade until we get rid of their Zacian. I feel like they're going to try really hard to keep Zacian alive now. What can we do then? And I'm going to click. Because I know they have play rough. Do they? Can I not use any move? Can't use that. Can't use that. I can protect. So they don't have protect. They don't have protect. Okay. So I'm going to EQ again. Be 
But the thing is, I can't really do anything. So I guess I go an ogre. Which is kind of concerning, because I'm going to EQ myself, but... Okay, at least I get rid of Instant here. Um, the issue is, what do I do against their Zacian? Like, I am I'm, I'm honestly don't know. Like, I think we're in a pretty bad spot since they're in prison. Uh, they're in prison and then all three of my moves. So, <laughs> it's really an issue. <laughs> their Zacian is meant to counter Zacians. And this is their... Oh, no. Guys, I'm scared. <laughs> they saved their Dynamax for a very long time. And here is a big route on now. I almost don't want to hit their grout. Like, I almost don't want to knock out the instant at this point. The good news is my Dragonite's doing absolutely no damage at this point. It's kind of fodder. I'll be honest. And they switch to Rockfall. Please go for Dragonite. Honestly, amazing. Thank you. Hold on. There's a win con here. Because now they can't set Sun back up. Oh, well, they got rid of it anyway. Um whatever they are rid of rain there's still a win con here their life orb grout on oh my goodness are you kidding me i pincer i pincered their zation and the reason that is is i'm max b zation so i theoretically could win a speed tie their zation has to choose does it imprison me or does it stop my origin pulse and we're Life Orb or Origin Pulse. I think that knocks out Zacian at like the half health that it's at. They got to make a decision. We also have the chance of just outspeeding them outright. So let's see what they do. Oh, hit the crap out of my mic. I'm sorry. I have to win a speed tie. Or they have to attack. It's one or the other. They attack. All right, they went for Sacred Sword. We take we take a Sacred Sword. So they're about to eat a Behemoth Blade here. We lost the speed tie, by the way. So we know that they're max speed, at least. Amazing damage onto Groudon. Ogre should be outspeeding Groudon, I think. Yes! And double connecting. Zacian's at one HP. You can't stop both of us. Zacian could try to imprison me here I, i'd honestly welcome it at this point it has to either imprison me or it has to knock me out we switch to sacred sword i guess it doesn't actually matter what we switch to what's my highest accuracy move it's hyper beam that's what we're clicking <laughs> 90 accuracy they just sacred sword again and that'll be gg i can't believe we won that honestly i don't think we deserve to win that one that was a little bit back and forth but, hey, they made the choice. We pincered them. They had to choose. Do they attack the ogre? Do they imprison? Personally, I think if they just imprisoned, they would have been in a better spot. I think they were. They had a higher... They Because they ended up living the origin pulse at 1 HP. So, it would have been another turn that I would have had to have my Zacian on the field without Zacian doing anything. Kyogre and Solgaleo team. With Tailwind, with Landorus, very hyper offensive team here. Also, they have priori priority blockage with the Serena, which can be a little bit concerning as well. Um, okay. I definitely do think Thunderous is the better lead compared to Dragonite. Since they do have Intimidate options, they also do have Tailwind options, so we have to be a little bit cautious about that. So I think let's just go ahead and leave with Thunderous. Do we Dynamax Thunderous though? See, I'm a little bit cautious of Dynamax Thunderous. Let's do Thunderous Dragonite. Hear me out, because we have EQs, and um, that could do something against their team, all things considered. We'll bring Ogre and Zacian in the back. I don't think this is a Dynamax Dragonite game. I don't know. That's just me. I'm a little bit concerned with Dynamax and Dragonite in front of a, uh, you know, an Ogre because Ogre could have Max Hailstorm, which could be 
not the greatest thing in the world. If they lead with Landorus, that's really good. If they lead with Landorus, I'll consider Dynamaxing. Well, no, because then I'll have a plus one on Thunderous. We'll see how this goes. Then I'll decide what I do. I am not very confident about Dragonite, though. <laughs> a Lucky Ogre lead. Hyper off fence. Hyper off the complete fence. What do I even do? I think I EQ right away. Uh, I don't want to sound like I'm I'm throwing my Dragonite to the wolves, but I'm kind of just throwing my Dragonite to the wolves here. EQ will do a significant amount of damage to Aleki if not knock it out. Now I'm wondering... They do have ground types though. Hold on. They do have Lando. But they're not going to switch into Lando here. Because then they just help me. Let me also make sure I'm clicking the right Max Lightning. I'm going for Max Lightning on Ogre right away. Ball by EQ. Just doing it right away. If they switch in Lando, they give me a plus two. And they have to live with that. Which is why the, the Thunderous lead is amazing in this sense. And it looks like they're not switching. The only thing that could possibly happen is maybe a Volt Switch on one of my two Pokemon. Or they Dynamax their Ogre just to live this one hit. And then try to knock out my Thunderous. We are AV on this Thunderous, so that shouldn't knock us out. They're going to E-Web us. That's going to give us plus two. They're going to lower my speed, but we're going to get it right back, thankfully. But it's not going to matter anyway. Um, and they just showed us that their Life Orb there. Here's a Water Spout. AV is OP. Um, is this a double KO for us, sir? It sure does smell like one. Dragonite's gonna take up at least one Pokemon. Nice. Fall by Ogre. Fine. Fine by me. Now keep in mind, our Thunderous is lower speed than usual right now. We're at negative one because the, you know, the stat drop still stays there after the Defiant. Which does concern me a little bit, because they do still have a Dynamax intact and all that stuff. But, you know, getting rid of one of their Restricteds plus their Aleki is nothing too shy of good news. In comes Landorus, in comes Solgaleo. I feel like they're going to throw everything they got into my Thunderous, right? There's no reason they wouldn't. But I'm kind of confident with my back two Pokemon to win the rest of the game. The Station and an Ogre, that, that's pretty thats pretty big confidence I have there. So I think here, I'm just going to try to get my speed back to where it should be. Onto the Landorus spot. I'm actually going to double down into this Landorus. Just in case, right? They could Dynamax here. They probably will Dynamax here and knock out one of my Pokemon. Or both of them. If they knock out both of them, I think I'm still okay though. Maybe. Depends on who they Dynamax. I'm kind of low-key hoping they Dynamax Landorus. And go for like a Rockfall or something. They are definitely thinking. Come on, please Dynamax Landorus. If they Dynamax Landorus, no Dynamax at all. Just gonna rock to my Dragonite and knock me out. No Dynamax? That's concerning. Why not? Wild charge. I eat that, Tom. Tom, what are you doing? Do they do they misclick? They gave me a Pokemon for free. Listen, I'll take it. <laughs> I understand you think I need some help. I appreciate it because I do need some help. <laughs> I'm using a darn Dragon Knight. Alrighty then. I don't know. I disagree with that. Because now I just do airstream again. And we click the fun button. The move that never misses the origin pulse. Here's the Dynamax that I think they should have done last turn to knock me out. Because now they just put me back into the speed bracket that I'm happy in. Now we're not max speed Thunderous, we're 164 Jolly, so I think we still outspeed Solgaleo, even if Solgaleo is max speed here. Mm. 
Mm, okay. That guard was smart because now my ogre is not able to get that, uh, the speed that I wanted to get. Okay, I get that. I totally get that. They ruined my airstream there. That was very smart. I think here I just wall charge and protect. The reason I'm protecting is because I don't want to lose both my... I'm going to lose my Thunderous this turn. But I'm going to lose my Thunderous on my own accord, right? I'm going to kill my Thunderous off with its own wall charge. Which is very good damage, by the way. And I don't want... I want to put my Zacian in a spot to where there's two Pokemon on the field that the Solgaleo has to worry about. Not just one. We should live this. Amazing. Now, Zacian, on the other hand, they didn't raise their defenses at all. So I think Zacian should just Behemoth Blade because they're Dynamax. I know it's resisted, but it's still our highest damage output there. The good thing about this team is that it has very good Pokemon in the back to really help pick up the Dragonite slack, right? <laughs> all right, let's just Behemoth here and just Origin here. Actually, should, I'm going to Thunder just because I don't want to miss. I feel like if they attack the Zacian... I could lose by a miss. So let's just not miss and just take advantage of the electric terrain that's on the field. Right? Because I don't think the Behemoth Blade is KOing. Two will. But not one. Yeah. So here, if they targeted my Zacian and knocked out my Zacian and then I missed, then I would have been in trouble. But thankfully, they just went for the Ogre again. Fine, fine. No Ogre today. But regardless... At that amount of HP, there isn't much that the Solgaleo can do to the Zacian. Zacian looks like it's just going to take this game. I guess they made that play just on the bank that, hey, maybe Zacian will protect this turn. And then I can just hit it next turn. But not bad. I mean, honestly, this, this game, it wasn't over turn one by any means. It was over when they didn't Dynamax. Battle was canceled. GG's to my opponent, Kurt. Another... Hyper offense theoretical team, another rain team, another weather team, another nuisance team. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Okay, I'm gonna try to be as honest as possible with you guys. Dragonite doesn't look like the one here. Reasons for that I don't think, I mean, they have double fake out, which is already not great news. They also have Tailwind. Dragonite's not fast to begin with. Like, I, I, I'm honestly thinking that maybe a Thunderous is the play here. We just have to keep in mind that they have the Raichu in the back, so we can't... Uh, we're going to have to spam Airstreams, if anything. Man, this could also just be a Dynamax Ogre game. Oh, but they have the Rilla. This is so rough. Let me bring Dragonite Ensign, Ogrization. We have to get rid of this Rilla and then Ogre can take over. I'm bringing Dragonite because it's the Dragonite video, but I don't think in this specific battle Dragonite was the key. I think Dragonite instead should be replaced by Thunderous. But hey, we're going to try to make do with what we got because we're trying to showcase this Pokemon, right? So let's try our best to win this. Regardless, Sean sends out Eveltal and Wim. All right. I think we just uh, airstream right away, right? Maybe not. I think we we ha we have enough. We have enough time to get the dance up. Mostly because I think Wim is going to be protecting or helping handing. Ugh. Never mind. We don't dance. We Dynamax right away. I really wanted to click Dragon Dance this, this, you know, at all once in this video, but I don't think we're going to be able to. I just don't think the opportunity presents and stuff. I don't like setting up in VGC for this reason. It just seems like, I don't want to say a waste of time, but it... it it's a, it's a, it's a waste of momentum. Like we can get so much momentum here by just denying them airstreams, right? Or denying them tailwind. 
to me it feels like more momentum than dying than you know getting a plus one plus one now if they protect here then hey i was wrong but you know sometimes you're right sometimes you're wrong all right dynamax dragonite second time we see it in today's video last battle of the day See, that's an op. Well, no, I wasn't wrong, wrong here because this is still fine because it breaks a sash. It doesn't actually stop the whim from being useful, but we should be able to take this with multi scale. Yeah, weak that up. Okay, that's fine. Their helping hand was essentially wasted because multi scale is a dumb ability. So that's pretty cool. We got rid of a Whimsicott. We traded a Dragonite. Well, we didn't trade anything, actually. We traded a dragon dance for a whimsicott. Is what we traded. Now, what the heck are we gonna do against this Evoltal? You might ask. I don't know. I honestly have absolutely no idea what we could possibly do against this Evoltal. Or this ogre. Okay. I do think we outspeed ogre. The unfortunate thing is that we don't outspeed Evoltal. So Yveltal will be able to airstream us before we're able to, uh, you know, fight back. I will attack the ogre. Um, I think we have to swap into our own ogre here, though. Just so we preserve our fake out for later. And just so we don't lose the instant like now, right? We'll just swap into something that can take a water spout. Another airstream. Into my Dragonite. Gonna hurt a lot. Will we live a Water Spout, though? I'm about to... It is resisted, at the very least. We do take it. Okay, good. And we get some nice damage off on Ogre. Okay. Eh, that's kind of worth. Now, if there's Scarf, that's even better. We, act, we don't know what they are yet. But we can only assume. I'm going to max guard here on my final turn. I almost want to double. But they could airstream the ogre spot. I'm going to... They're going to attack the dragon knight spot. Yeah, they're gonna try. They have to attack the Dragon Knight's Dragon Knight spot because if they don't, they think I'm gonna airstream their ogre and knock it out. So let's just guard the Dragon Knight spot and hope they airstream. Dang it! Ah, I got it wrong. They airstreamed ogre, but ogre lives. But their ogre doesn't protect, so it's still not good news because they're gonna outspeed us now. They switched to origin, miss. Not today. Dang it. All right, Ogre's going down. Unfortunate, but hey, tis life, tis the way. I'm in deep doo-doo. I'll be honest, I'm not feeling too good about this battle. <laughs> I just don't think there's a lot that, uh... Dragon I can do here. Now that I know that they're not scarfed, my instant's not in a good spot either. I gotta weigh my options. I think these are my options. Fake out Yveltal and try to knock out the Ogre if I can. Hopefully they miss an origin. So Yveltal will knock out my Dragonite. If they double into my Dragonite, I could be in, in some bad shape here. Okay, no protecting. So they are going to double attack. They do outspeed. They do go for the orange. Of course, Incin avoids and not the other one. Oh, that's GG, man. I need the Dragonite to avoid. Yeah, I don't win anymore. There's no winning. I will try, but I don't think there's a winning... We have to pray that uh, this ogre doesn't like to hit origin pulses, right? That's the only way. 
But hey, regardless, a fun battle, man. In the end, Dragonite wasn't able to win them all. Uh, I'll Behemoth Blade here. And I will uh, Snarl, I guess. Again, I've missed Precipice Blades plenty of times. Sometimes double miss them. You never know. <laughs> That's why I'm playing this out. I'll tell you what, all we need is the Zacian to dodge. If the Zacian dodges, we're, we're, we could be in a good spot. Or we need their we need their Joy-Con drift to take over and then force them onto another move. As they go for the Oblivion Wing. Onto my Zation. Okay. Cool, I guess. So they definitely don't have a fire move. This is the moment of truth. And of course they connect. Uh, how good night, guys. Sayonara. Thanks for playing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this would have been a different battle with the Thunderous. <laughs> Honestly, man, I think I should have just brought Thunderous. Yeah, this would have been completely different with Thunderous, because guess what? Thunderous would have won the the uh, the Airstream game. If I just sat there and Airstreamed the whole game, I would be outspeeding the... The Yveltal the whole time, Yveltal can't afford to go for Max Darkness because one, I'm going to be outspeeding it, and two, it, they'll give me plus two attack, so there's no way they can even avoid it. So, I th Thunderous is probably the play there. Regardless, it's a fun team. Let me give you guys that rental code. And here you have the rental code for the Dragonite team. Now, this team is a lot of fun to play. Of course, there are certain matchups where you will definitely not be needing Dragonite, and there's a lot of matchups that are very Dragonite-specific. We already talked about, you know, changing maybe multi-scale to inner focus. I understand that multi-scale helps with livability, but inner focus helps with, you know, fake-out leads, and since you're a flying type, and DD can't save you from that, unfortunately, but, you know, all in all, very fun team. Thanks again, Mono Mallard, for making this team and making it public for us to play. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to check out their links down below in the description. Of course, if you guys enjoyed this video, you know, do hit the like button down below and subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Kevin, this is Pokesports. Have a great night. Peace out. Bye-bye.